guys, welcome to a new episode of Beauty Begins a Fiction where I recreate the looks of fictional beauty icons throughout history. Today, we're going to talk about Lizzie McGuire. Lizzie McGuire is one of those Beauty Begins a Fiction that has been requested a lot and thumbs up a lot. <laughs> and I have to say it is one of my personal beauty beacons as well. And I can hardly believe I'm sitting here looking like this because on the one hand, I'm like, this is hilarious. And on the other hand, I'm like 11 year old me is like living her dream right now. <laughs> so Lizzie McGuire is the leading character in the show called Lizzie McGuire, which aired in like between 2001 and 2004. And it was about Lizzie McGuire, obviously, who was a young girl, I believe like 13 at the beginning of the show who just lived through kind of typical teenager troubles. She went to school and there were friends and boys and mean girls. So it was kind of your typical preteen television show, but it was so popular. It was hugely popular. Even here in the Netherlands, it was a huge thing. Everybody watched it. All my friends watched it. Everybody knew what it was. And the Lizzie McGuire movie, that was a huge thing. And I have seen that. I mean, we watched that at every birthday party, everyone's birthday party. <laughs> And of course, Lizzie McGuire's looks were iconic. She had that perfect early 2000s style down to a point. It was absolutely gorgeous. And she had the most amazing hairstyles and everything was just perfection. So I can only imagine she was a huge beauty and style icon to many girls who are in their 20s right now. So I am going to attempt to recreate her iconic look. Of course, I ended up looking a little bit more like Miranda, but that's just because their styles were pretty much the same thing. Only Miranda has dark hair. Although no, I do, Miranda was a little bit more crazy in her style, I do believe. But anyways, I'm gonna try and recreate Lizzie McGuire's style today on dark hair. We're just gonna roll with it. So let's start with the makeup first. Now, keeping in mind this is a teenage look we're trying to recreate, I'm gonna keep it nice and minimal and simple, but very early 2000s. So I'm gonna start with just a little bit of concealer to cover up my dark circles and any imperfections that I may have here and there. I have decided to not use foundation today. If you do feel like you need some or you want to use some foundation, then absolutely feel free to do so. But I'm just gonna apply a little bit of concealer and blend that into my skin, just using my fingers here. And then I'm gonna give that a little bit of time to dry by diving straight into the eyebrows, which I'm just going to comb into place with a little bit of eyebrow gel. So for my eyes, I am just going to apply a little layer of mascara on my top lashes mainly, and just touching my lower lashes ever so slightly to get a little bit of a tint there. All right, so back to the skin. I am going to go over everything with a little, little layer of translucent powder just to mattify my face and set this concealer into place. And then I'm gonna go over with a blush. Now I'm using a nice little warmy pinkish tone that I'm going to apply on my cheeks and I'm gonna apply this pretty much everywhere on kind of the back outer part of my cheeks, just for a nice little flush of color. And again, this is a young person, like a young teenager. So we want this to look pretty natural, not too heavy. So when the blush is blended in nicely, I decided to go back to my eyes and just apply a little bit of black eyeshadow with an angled eyeliner brush as a kind of eyeliner type thing. This exact style of eyeliner was actually the first type of makeup that I started to wear just a few years after the <laughs> Maguire aired. And you can see her wearing uh, a very soft kind of blended out eyeliner in many of the photos if you take a look. So I'm gonna do that and then the last thing there's left to do is to apply a lip gloss. Yes, this was the era of lip gloss. So luckily lip gloss is making a comeback. So I have found a very recent tinted lip gloss in my stash. So I'm gonna use that. It's a nice little pinky one. So there's the makeup already done. Nice and simple, nice and minimal, keeping it fresh and youthful. So moving on to the hair, which is the most fun part in my opinion. To start, I am going to straighten my hair. Few other options curling with those like unseparated, pretty crunchy curls, or of course, crimping the hair. I don't have a crimper right now and I feel like just stick straight hair is the most iconic Lizzie McGuire look. So that's what I'm going for today. I'm gonna start by separating my hair to a lower and a top section. And then I'm gonna spray the lower section with a little bit of heat protector. And when that has dried up, I'm gonna straighten my hair with a straightening iron, just completely straight. So I'm gonna continue doing that all over my head, but I'm gonna skip over my bangs. Um, Lizzie's bangs are straightened, but hers are a lot shorter than mine. So if I straighten mine right now, 
they will come over my eyes. So I'm just keeping mine as they are right now. Luckily my hair is pretty straight already, but I am gonna straighten the kind of side pieces and I'm gonna try and make them kind of curl inwards. Now these side pieces are absolutely essential for a early 2000s look. These were the rage. So when all of my hair is nice and straight, I am going to separate out my bangs and my side pieces so that they stay in front of everything else that I'm doing. You always wanna have something in your face. And then I'm gonna come in with a hairband. Now this isn't really a early 2000s hairband, but it's the best thing I could find. So <laughs> bear with me here, please. <laughs> so I'm gonna apply that to my hair. And then with the back top of my hair, I'm going to create two little ponytails. So I'm taking the top hair on one side first, I'm gonna gather that into a ponytail. Secure it with a hair elastic and then pull it tight so that it's nice and perky, sticking up a little bit. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. And that is it. There is your Lizzie McGuire inspired look all done. Now, of course, you can pick and choose from all of the amazing outfits. I decided to go with the basic t-shirt over a long sleeve shirt. And of course, you need a choker or another short necklace. Loads and loads of hair accessories, butterfly clips. You can do braids. So I really hope you enjoyed this little Lizzie McGuire hair and makeup tutorial guide. I certainly really enjoyed myself making this. I just, I can't stop looking at myself in the viewfinder. Sorry for that, but I just, I love this so much. <laughs> so if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for loads more beauty beacons of fiction and regular beauty beacons. Speaking of which, if you have any requests for historical beauty icons, real or fictional, that you would like me to recreate the looks of, please feel free to leave a request in the comments below. I will look through, pick one out for next time. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, there's a link in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support, guys. There is another video here that you may also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.